Hey all, welcome to Shadrack. This is Raj here, friends. It's uh, around 6.36 a.m. on the 28th of October as we start today's video for pre-market outlook. Uh, things are looking good, but I think we have uh, reached a stage where um, the market probably has bought the rumor and may sell the news as we expect a slew of earnings. Uh, that's the theme that I'm going to talk about. We're going to look at all the uh, data points that are emerging in the markets and we'll wind up quickly. I'll try to keep it short. Let's get started. Welcome back friends. We are looking at the CNBC website and what we see here is a, a lot of greens. Uh, Dow futures is up a healthy 49.49%. Uh, uh, S&P futures is up a healthy 0.60%. And Nasdaq futures is up a healthy 0.76%. This is all looking great. Oil is down 6.21%. Somebody has drummed a lot of uh, crude oil. So that's a setback for the oil investors. Uh, but uh, overall, uh, I think that with the whole lot of earnings on the pipeline let us look at the earnings quickly before i proceed ahead as you can see uh, out here uh, we have a whole lot of earnings coming up uh, this week and um, uh, google amd smci are three companies that are going to report on 29th which is going to be tomorrow so expect the markets to react to this. We have already seen the earnings from Tesla and Tesla has been quite positive. We'll see this morning whether the short sell, short covering has completed and whether the stock is starting to come down a little bit. Uh, but so far it's been very healthy and that's a good sign. And uh, hopefully uh, Google, AMD and SMCI also go in the same direction with good earnings and good projections. Uh, however, when you look at... Uh, the Fed uh, reducing interest rates, that doesn't lend itself to um, better outcomes going forward. The reason the Fed cuts rates is because the economy is losing steam. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll cross all those things when we hear the forward uh, projections from these companies. So not only do these companies uh, which report uh, on uh, report later this week have to meet uh, the expectation of the market in terms of performance right now, but also have to have a bright enough uh, projection for the future which matches or exceeds the current performance. Uh, that's the tall order that we have here. And that's the reason why I'm thinking that probably the market has bought the rumor and it may sell the news. I could be wrong. This is my personal opinion, not financial advice. So please uh, do your own due diligence before you make any trades. But feel free to give me your feedback in the comment section. What do you think about this? So next we are going to have uh, Meta, Microsoft uh, and CRISPR Therapeutics reporting on the 30th. And 31st we have Apple, Amazon, Intel uh, as well as uh, Allogen and Intelia. And then we have Prime on the 1st of November. So that's the roundup I am looking at uh, right now. And uh, this is going to give us an idea of where the market is going. Uh, coming back to the news items, the next headline that caught my attention was TSMC suspends uh, shipments to China firm after chip phone on Huawei processors. And uh, I think this would uh, bring a, a lot of scrutiny to all the uh, chip manufacturers uh, from the government. And uh, we might probably have some price impact down the line, maybe 15, 20 days down the line. The other uh, item is US Treasury continue their ascent after hitting a three-month high last week so this could definitely uh, impact the housing market through mortgages so that's about it and um, uh, I think I'd like to go and have a look at the uh, economic calendar we have a lot of interesting data coming up uh, we have uh, George job openings on 29th of October uh, so that's one big item to look forward to. The GDP growth rate quarter over quarter will have an impact on the Fed uh, interest rate. It's at 8.30 a.m. on the 30th of October. And Thursday, 31st of October, we have core PC price index month over month, uh, personal income month over month, etc. So a whole slew of data. So Thursday is going to be very important as well. And Friday has the non-farm payrolls, unemployment rate. So very busy uh, calendar ahead for us along with the slew of earnings and um, I think the market will definitely show its colors this week. That said, let's go on and have a look at the Nasdaq futures which is up 0.76%. We have a uh, inflection point out here. We have resistance at 20,664.25 
and uh, right now we are at 20,655. Uh, so maybe we are going to break through this depending on the earnings result so there are two possibilities one possibility is that uh, we uh, break through and um, we move upwards and start clearing up new um, uh, areas the other possibility is that we come down and we test these two supports because uh, either the earnings was not up to expectations or the future projections are not up to expectations these are two possibilities that can happen and uh, I, I honestly think nobody knows what is going to happen. So we'll have to wait and watch uh, what happens and then react based on that. Of course, we might lose a little bit of profit potential, but uh, there is still money to be made. It's a safer way to do that, at least uh, from my vantage point, uh, as I look at it uh, from my risk profile, uh, I think that I would rather wait for it and then uh, react rather than try to uh, gamble on where it might move. So I'm on a wait and watch more. Let's go to QQQ, which is a reflection of what we saw in the NASDAQ futures. And we have a gain of 0.76% in pre-market trade, which means that we have already broken through the resistance at 495.96. Uh, we are somewhere out here, uh, way above that. So our next target is going to be to break 503.52, which also happens to be the all-time high uh, for this uh, uh, QQQ ETF. So we'll see what happens uh, as the market opens. But right now, it's looking pretty good. Uh, the momentum is very nice, and I think momentum will lift it up. MACD needs a little bit of repair. It's uh, ready to cross over to the signal line, and I suspect if when the market opens, it will already have crossed over. So things are looking good at this point of time. Now, let's go on and look at AI. Google is up 1.75%. Maybe it might uh, give us the uh, reverse head and shoulder pattern completion uh, in the next few days, and then we can project a target for it. And that target will still be within the all-time high. So probably Google is a buying opportunity. Personal opinion, not financial advice. Earnings out on 29th of uh, October after hours, that is tomorrow evening. Uh, MACD is mending and momentum is looking pretty good. And Tesla uh, is up 0.18% uh, pre-market. And I think there is going to be a bit of profit taking happening at this point of time for Tesla uh, and a consolidation. However, in the past, Tesla has gone all the way up to 89.41 on the RSI. MACD is also bullish. So things could be could turn out to be better for Tesla when the market opens. But right now it's looking a bit lukewarm. Uh, Apple is up 0.46% in pre-market trades. Meta uh, is uh, up 1.47% in pre-market trades. After all, who knows, we may still be going towards this uh, reverse head and shoulder pattern. I'm going to draw a new line of support out here. It's a new trend line that I want to introduce. So this is our new um, line of support. So as long as we are about this line of support, I'm happy. Uh, and I can say that we are still in a bullish phase for Meta. Amazon is up 0.73% in pre-market trades, looking pretty healthy. You know, Microsoft is up 0.98% in pre-market trades, looking great. AMD is up 1.62% in pre-market trades, still within the bullish channel. Very happy about it. Uh, Palantir uh, is up 1.83% uh, in pre-market trades, continuing on the bull channel. Let me draw the bull channel and make this formal. So here we are. This is the bull channel on which Palantir is riding. I wouldn't mind if it got consolidated and uh, the angle becomes a little less steep, but it's doing very well. Palantir is looking great on the charts. Uh, FNGU is up 2.63% in uh, pre-market trade. And we have uh, Broadcom uh, looking good, 0.71% in pre-market trade. MACD is very weak, but momentum is picking up. It's just at average. And I suspect when the market opens, it would be above average and uh, MACD would be moving closer to the signal uh, signal line. Uh, Oracle is up 0.63%, a lot of consolidation probably, another spike like this, and then another set of consolidation. That seems to be the pattern out here. Uh, Micron is up 0.44%, still on the bull channel. Uh, Cloudflare is up 1.25%. Uh, this is a bull flag which has got to move upwards, and I think that's what is happening today. Uh, and then we have NVIDIA 
which is up 1.10%, uh, again trying to reach its all-time high and breach it. Uh, it's still on a bull channel, uh, which I had drawn earlier. It's on a steeper bull channel as well, so looking good. Uh, Qualcomm uh, is up 1.25% in uh, pre-market trades. SMCI is up 1.31% in pre-market trades. And we have ARM Holdings up 1.50 in pre-market trades. ASML is up 0.01% in pre-market trades. And we have Intel, uh, which is up 1.19% in pre-market trades. And we have SMH, Semiconductor Index, uh, up 0.81% in pre-market trades, still lighting a, a superior uh, bull channel. Next, let's go on to uh, Genomics. And in Genomics, we have PSCB, which is up 0.56% in pre-market trade. Uh, IMTX has got no trades pre-market. Bluebird Bio is up 4.12% in pre-market trades. That's pretty healthy. Uh, Ginkgo Bioworks is down 0.74% pre-market. Prime is up 1.49% pre-market. And we've got um, uh, Allogene, uh, which has uh, got no trades pre-market. Iowa has no trades pre-market. mRNA is up 1% pre-market. And Beam Therapeutics is flat in pre-market trading. Intelia is up 1% in pre-market trades. Just about struggling to get over this diagonal line of resistance. Let us see if it can manage that today. Chart is looking very weak indeed. Uh, Editas is up 0.63% in pre-market trades. Uh, Altimmune uh, is flat in pre-market trades, still struggling to cross over this diagonal line of resistance. Uh, Caribou Biosciences is up 0.56% pre-market. CRISPR Therapeutics is up 1.37% in pre-market trade. And ArcG is uh, up 1.42% in pre-market trade. Very, very bearish so far. But let us see if we have a trend reversal happening today. Uh, but MACD and Momentum leave a lot to be desired. Grail is down 7.69%. This is hurting me big time. Uh, I'll have to consider what to do with Grail. It's not looking that good. It's fallen below the last support of 12.67 that I had drawn. It's way below that. So I have to take some decision on that today. Illumina is up 0.74% uh, in pre-market trades, uh, bounced off the support line of 141.43 that supported for a couple of days. Starting to look good. Uh, Verve Therapeutics is flat in pre-market trades. So friends, that's what we have in the pre-market session. Uh, the outlook looks pretty good and it could also be decisive. And uh, if there is going to be a drop in October, we might see uh, some of that manifest 29th onwards. If that doesn't happen, then I think then we'll have to look at November with a, a new outlook and uh, look forward to the Santa Claus rally. Maybe all the bad news that we expected did not happen and uh, for a change we should be positive. That's the way I'm looking at it. Please give me your feedback. Uh, October definitely did not turn out the way I thought it would, at least for my stocks, but overall in the market probably some people experienced a bad October. With that, my friends, I'd like to bring this video to an end. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.